Hey guys, welcome back to Legs Will Move. Haven't made a video in quite a while, so apologies for that. But, you know, I was just thinking about something, uh, and that's these barefoot shoes and how they've worked for me over the last year. And sure enough, I logged into the YouTube account and I checked and someone less than 24 hours ago had said, hey, it's been a year later. What's the deal with the barefoot shoes? So this is the update to that video. A little bit over a year later, I've been wearing these three shoes. I'm gonna talk about what's my favorite one of the three, kind of the pros and cons of each, how they've been holding up. And I think the big question is like, did it do anything? Did I benefit from it? Uh, do I feel any different having worn them? Uh, so let's dive right into it. I'm not gonna edit this video. It's just gonna be a single take. So I'm just gonna leave my errors in, my mistakes. So sorry in advance for that, but just not really in a position to be spending hours editing videos. So apologies in advance. Um, I really wanna start with these. These are the Ultra, uh, I believe these are the original Lone Peak hikers. There's a version two now, but I wanted to buy these cause I actually preferred the way these look. Uh, none of these shoes I've cleaned. Uh, none of them I've tried to take care of, not even once. Um, so these are uh, really how these look. Just a year later, you can see some, some small scuffs on this little plastic piece in the back. And this uh, plastic piece, whoops, there it goes. Only got one hand here. But this piece is a little bit hardened, but it, it, it will move. You've got some synthetic leather. This is kind of a synthetic suede. You've got kind of a, almost kind of like a ripstop mesh. It kind of feels like a soft seat belt, sort of. Um, the midsole is quite soft, actually. I mean, really compared to a lot of the shoes I own, this this is still quite a soft midsole. It's not a tall stack. It's technically not a barefoot, like a truly barefoot shoe for the people that are probably running to the comments right now to say that it's not a barefoot shoe. I'm fully aware uh, because it's got a little bit of cushion. Um, I did wear these shoes hunting and believe it or not, at one point these shoes were actually soaked in blood um and i don't really know how it went away i just kind of wore them and the you could kind of see some of the red stains there and i think up on this collar you can see some of it here but um i never made any attempt to clean these shoes so it kind of just went away on its own so i don't think the fabric holds on to stains very much at all i absolutely love these laces they're thick but they don't feel like soft and mushy but they have like a nice medium to them where they're they're not too soft and they're not like, you know, steel cable laces or anything. Uh, the padding is quite nice. I mentioned this before, but if you slide your finger down, it's smooth. When you're coming out, it's it's almost like the fabric is pointing down. So it's a little bit rougher coming out. Don't really know much about what's going on in here. Haven't bothered to look before. Does not look like the, uh, it's a booty construction. I don't think it is, but since the laces hook through here, it's not really much of an issue. Overall, I will say this, these are probably some of my favorites of the three. Uh, I definitely maybe tied for first, and then I'll get to the others in a second. Um, I don't really have any problems with the durability. You can kind of see the micro tread on there is still hanging in. Now this high wear spot in the front, the, the micro treading is starting to wear away. You can kind of see it left there, that little waffle pattern. But up here in the more used areas, it's kind of worn away a little bit. Uh, but overall, almost no wear. Um, I could probably clean these up and make them look almost like new. Here's another hit of uh, synthetic leather. Really comfortable upper. It's got one of the more spacious uppers. I think these are all in the same size as well. Uh, I believe it's a size 10. Nice wide toe box. But comfortable shoe. It's cushioned. Uh, I wore these whenever... Whenever it's raining, uh, it, of course it's not a rain boot, but I didn't really notice a whole lot of rain just soaking through them. So I think they're like mildly, mildly rain resistant, even though they don't advertise as that. Not waterproof for sure. If you get soaked, you will get soaked, but I think mildly rain resistant. Um, that's really all there is to say about them. It's kind of a looser, sloppier fit. If you maybe find these at a discounter and you're thinking about picking them up, kind of a looser, sloppier fit. I think they're true to size, just kind of sloppy so it'll be more of a relaxed comfort fit uh, but if you really if you really really insist that you don't like that then perhaps you know consider going down a half size for these 
So that's the Lone Peak Hiker from Altra. I want to talk about the Flux. I don't even remember the name of these. I think they're just called the Flux Trainer. You can see they've got these little uh, cutouts here. I think this is for reinforcement. It's kind of a synthetic material. Uh, honestly, not a completely um, low-tech upper, despite you know the new brand and it looks very low-tech. This part up here is quite stretchy. I mean, this part in the middle, you'll hear it is more, it's a much rougher, stronger, no stretch mid. Uh, so you get quite a bit of containment. You do again have this padding in the back. I'm basically rehashing the first video, a huge gum, sub, uh, gum rubber outsole, plenty of tread, plenty of flex. I should have done that with the first shoe, but I didn't, plenty of flex. Um, the laces are too short, uh, but mostly this, uh, because this, this uh, what is this? The tongue area is quite, stretchy i haven't had to uh gotcha but uh, i haven't had to uh unlace these i think i've only maybe retied these once or twice in the year that i've owned them and the, the containment is quite nice the containment is quite nice once you get them on uh this back foam area stretches just a little bit in this collar you can see that this is that rough spot this is not this area is just a little bit stretchy so when you're trying to pull these apart and get your foot in, it's actually quite easy. My biggest complaint with these is, well, there's two, really, I was going to say one thing, then two, three. There's really three complaints I have with this shoe. One, the laces are too short. That's number one. Two, this, they're calling this like the massage footbed or something. And there's actually no sort of, uh, you know, insole, which I don't have any problem with that. Uh, there, I, I will say, I don't think there's room to put an insole in there. So you're kind of stuck with it the way that it is. But, um, the problem with these, right? These felt really cool when like I first put them on, like I put them on and I was like, okay, I can feel those. And I'm walking around a little bit. I'm like, yeah, they, they feel nice. Here's the problem. It's one of these things that like you go through a honeymoon phase with them. Like they feel good for the first 10 minutes, the first 20 minutes that you're wearing them. But the thing is, these create a lot of friction. The bottom of my feet always felt so hot wearing this shoe, extremely hot, because it just feels like there's always rubbing. It feels like there's movement in my shoe, and that's creating even more friction. Um, you know, they're great for keeping your sock in place, and yeah, they, they feel just a little bit, maybe more cushioned than this one over here, than the Vivo. But overall, like, the thing about this is, um, there's, there's just quite a bit of, of rubbing and friction. And I, I honestly think they should have just not done this at all because that is probably the one thing that will keep these from being comfortable is your feet end up just baking hot by the end of the day. Um, if you're susceptible to things like blisters and things like that, you'll probably get them with this because they rub, they create more friction. So yeah, I, I think that was a huge miss. I, I've seen recently that they have a running shoe model of this that uses this footbed. I cannot imagine running in a shoe that has a footbed like that. That would absolutely tear up the bottom of your feet. I, I'm just imagining that everybody that's giving them reviews that's just saying, oh my God, I love the massaging footbed. Dude, they have to be paid. They have to be paid or getting free stuff because there's no way. I, I mean, just walking around in them sets your feet on fire. I can't imagine running in them. Uh, the last thing, the third thing I really don't like about these, again, short laces, that creates insane amounts of friction. Uh, the sizing on these is quite wrong. And I think even if I went up a half size, I don't think it would fix my problem. Uh, they're quite a bit smaller than the other shoes. I mean, if I just take a moment to throw them up again, these are all the same size. You can kind of see there's quite a volume difference both in terms of, well, maybe not length, but definitely width, there's a volume difference. And then if you put these next to the, the Vivos, uh, yeah, again, quite a volume difference, um, especially because this midfoot section doesn't stretch, but even if in this area where it does stretch, it's just quite a bit of a smaller shoe. It seems like it's a whole, like half size, full size, smaller than the other two shoes, even though they're all the same size. Um, yeah, I mean, otherwise, you know, pretty durable, uh, lots of rubber, uh, decently flexible. Um, it, I could see if this shoe was the correct size and they fixed the laces, this probably would be a really comfortable shoe. Again, I, well, maybe besides that, but 
Overall, I probably wouldn't recommend these. I just think there's too many problems with them. And I don't think they're a true barefoot shoe because there's just, these are just not that wide. I mean, these are, these are marginally wider than like a Converse. These are barely wider than a Converse. It's like, it's not even like a full wide. It's like a half wide. So you have regular sizing and then wide. This is like somewhere in between the two. So not really getting much width out of these. And I just think for all the reasons I've said, I just really wouldn't recommend these to be honest with you. The last pair would be the, the Vivos and I'll just spoiler alert. Um, I overall out of the, the sample of three that I have, these are probably my favorites. Uh, I think mostly because they have the most one-to-one -one fit. I think the, the, uh, the ultras look a little bit too military for me a lot of the time. So I, I don't like to just wear them in like the office or anything. Cause it kind of looks weird. It looks like you're trying to go on a hike. These you can kind of get away with in jeans. You can get away with these in shorts. They look nice. Um, I did just end up cleaning them up. I had some uh, cables fraying. I don't know if it was on this side or maybe maybe it was on the other side. Yeah, so you can kind of see that burnt cable. I just fixed that, uh, but I did have a couple cables fraying. Nothing crazy about these as far as durability. I will say I wore these like by far the most of the three. These have the most wear on them. Um, I don't think they ever had micro tread to begin with. I think they were just smooth, but you know, you re I'm really not seeing a whole lot of wear on these. Uh, durability seems fine. I have seen uh, people where you have these flex points that it starts to separate from the lower or these, uh, this, these, I guess these uh, overlays, these panels start to peel away. Hasn't happened with mine yet. Um, the upper is kind of like a sock. It's like a it's like a strong sock is what it feels like. It's not, it's like a thick yarn. It's not as soft as a sock, uh, but I guess you wouldn't want it to be. Otherwise it would have a lot of durability issues. Uh, this is funny. I mentioned in the original video that I pulled these out of the box and just kind of slipped them on my feet and I haven't touched them. A year later, I still haven't touched them. This is how they came out of the box. And all I do is just stretch them slide my feet in and they never really have any issues with that. Uh, these are the lowest to the ground of the three because uh, there's not really much cushion. I don't know, does this come out? No. Oh, uh, wait, yes it does, it does. So you could, I guess you could get them even lower but as it stands, they're already the lowest to the ground. And frankly, I don't really um, see a need to get them any lower. I mean, sometimes when I'm walking in them, it feels like I, if, if I spend a whole day in these, I tend to have like bruises underneath my feet just from being on my feet all day with so little protection but uh breathabilities could honestly could be better because again this this yarn is actually quite thick but it's fine there are some of these larger holes but other than that there's not really a whole lot of breathability despite it being more of a sock construction um but really comfortable otherwise really durable this is like a almost like a melted plastic overlay so that's quite durable i would imagine um i haven't really had any need to adjust them so i can't really speak to the adjustment and I think these have the most natural foot shape of the three. Again, the, the ultras are, are plenty wide enough and everything, but the fit's kind of sloppy. It's weird. These are, these are wide and you don't really feel them anywhere. But at the same time, you also, you, you get touched everywhere. It's like a one-to-one -one fit, but it's not tight anywhere. So I kind of like that. It's the best of both worlds. Um, I haven't really used them for trail running or anything like that. Cause I'm not going to do that, but, um, Overall, I think these are the best ones, um, despite the price. I think I got these on sale. That's why I ended up picking these out. But yeah, so a year later, what do I think about the whole thing about barefoot shoes? I think it's maybe marginally helped my feet a little bit. I don't feel like I've got like drastically better, you know, people talk about all this crap about like balance and your feet health improved. I haven't really noticed anything like that a whole lot. I do think they're comfortable. I think they're nice. Uh, they're, of course, there's there's a bit of you know natural balance that comes from just having your feet so low to the ground, but I don't think it's like improved my ability to have balance. But um, overall, I think they're cool. I don't think it's a life-changing experience for me, um, but if it's something that you were thinking about trying, I still think you might look into it just for the sake of having something comfortable and light um, and very packable. You know, people always show how packable these shoes are. And I never really did the flex test, but here's your flex test of these. Probably the least flexible, but, you know, the most cushioned. So that's the review. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, if you guys have any specific questions about them, uh, I'd be happy to fill those in. But 
I don't want to keep rambling about them. Those are the three. I don't recommend these. I do recommend the Ultras as long as you're fine with that sloppier fit. And then I do recommend these. Uh, they're quite durable. Again, my most worn of the three. All right, guys, catch you on the next one. Bye.